what are my expectations for Penn State football in 2024? I know it seems very early to be making this video, but it's portal season. Players are jumping around, going crazy, leaving schools, committing to new schools. All the players I followed through the recruiting services over the years, seeing where they go, it's got me fired up about football. So this is what you do. This is the kind of video you make when you're excited about football. I mean, the national title was a week ago from the previous season, and you got all off season. This is the kind of video you make when you're pumped about football in the near middle of January. I expect Penn State football to have a playoff appearance next year in the first year of the 12-team playoff. Obviously, if Penn State was to win it all next year, win a playoff game, advance through the, the playoffs, obviously I would be ecstatic. But I want to set the bar at just a playoff appearance because that's something Penn State has not done yet, even in the four-team era. Now, I know some of you guys out there may have different expectations, but this is my expectation. If you disagree, that's fine. You guys can comment down below what you expect from Penn State next year, what you want to see. Obviously, I want to see a national championship like everyone else. I want to see a Big Ten championship. And they could win a Big Ten championship along with the um, playoff appearance. But I think I'll just set the bar at playoff appearance. And anything above that, I would be absolutely ecstatic. I would be ecstatic. I, you have to make the playoffs, especially in a 12-team era, you have to. That should be the bare minimum for next season. You got to make the playoffs. And honestly, maybe I should be saying expect a win. Maybe I should be saying that because Penn State has finished top 12 in the last six out of eight seasons. So maybe I should be saying expect a win, but I'm just going to go with expect a playoff appearance. And if they win a game, if they advance throughout the playoffs, if they win a national title, we'd obviously be thrilled with that. Big time celebrations would be ensuing if that happened. But that's my expectation for the team. I want the offense to be more efficient. I want a more consistent pass game. And I want the defense to maintain that same strong standard that it's had. I want the tight ends to be involved in the passing game more often. I want our running backs to continue to be consistent. Nick Singleton needs to be more consistent in my opinion. And I hope we can retool the offensive line. And I hope, for the sake of Penn State football, I hope we have consistent wide receiver play and guys who can get separation. And I hope, after this video has been uploaded, we have added more wide receivers in the portal who are going to make an impact. And I'd watch out for Peter Gonzalez. Peter Gonzalez is my sleeper for Penn State football next season. I think he can really make an impact. But looking at the portal here, we already made videos on Nolan Rucci, Julian Fleming. A.J. Harris is the one that is going to make an impact, in my opinion, because former five-star from Georgia, he's going to come in and start immediately. Jalen Kimber, former highly recruited player, has shown potential, shown some flashes, but he's struggled to find his way so far in college. He's the one that, if anything, would just be a nice depth piece and rotational piece. And then Jordan Meyer, a Pittsburgh kid who didn't have a Penn State offer out of high school, definitely one that I would be looking at because he's going to come in at the outside linebacker slash edge spot and be motivated to play well. He wants to be here. Didn't get the offer out of high school, but he's got it now. That's what you want. Those are the kind of people you want in your program. Guys, we're going to be motivated. That's all I got so far, guys. That's all I got in this one. Just wanted to make a quick video highlighting my expectations and touching on some transfer portal recruits.